Hi, it's Robin. Oh, yeah, we're we're here. Here. Hello, friends. It's me. And today we're going Karen hunting. We got this Karen at the drive thru. Where is my food? If y'all ain't giving me my food, I'm gonna crawl on up through this window. <gasps> she got the iced tea dispenser. No, she really threw it, threw it like the trash can, too. Ma'am, this is a McDonald's drive thru. I just work here. You really did this over a four piece chicken nugget. You really couldn't wait. I guess I'm gonna call Ronald McDonald. Ronald shows up with his boxing gloves. You ready for a Mick beating? Go back to when Karen got mad at us for TPing her neighbor's house. The neighbor's house. She doesn't live there. It's not her house. Why should she care? I'm videotaping you. Sure. Let's go. Also, um, it's it's not, you're not taking a video, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm not. <laughs> then why put your phone like this? Haha, <laughs> so intimidating. I too can hold up my phone in your face. Like what's the point? If she's not even recording, she doesn't even know how to record. Wait, hold on. Ah. Put on my reading glasses. Mm, let's see. Wipe up. Put in my passcode. Uh, where is that uh, camera app? Um, right there. Ah, yes. Ah, I forgot to press record. Yeah, technology. <laughs> Karen versus a cyclist, and he starts recording her going bananas. Obeying the bicyclists. Yay! So Yay. maybe a car will hit him. Yay! Yay! Maybe a car. Will Wait, wait, wait. Let's don't, turn it around. Don't, don't touch what? my phone. Don't touch your phone. Don't touch don't me. Don't touch your phone or what? Or I'll or what? flip that cup or out what? of your hand. Or what? Yeah. She spilled it. She tossed it at him. He said he was going to flip the cup. Quick, think fast. Boom. All right. Yeah? All right. I just, I just. You see that? Do I see what? What's the problem? This man was disobeying my blood. I know, yes I am. This and, man and, was disobeying and, and he was taking my picture. A cop was watching this whole thing. You threw water at him or whatever that yes, is? Yes, I threw you, water. Do you realize that's a battery? No, it isn't a battery. You're telling the police what it, it is? Isn't it isn't, no. Karen's standing over a dead body with a knife. You just committed a murder. No, it's not murder. But didn't you just? Yeah, but it's not murder. Ma'am, you're going to jail. So coming out of this convenience store, we got a theft by a seagull. Look at this Karen try to stop him like thief. Stop. You violated the law. Get back here. I know he just walked out with unpaid merchandise. And now he just go fly away. Why would you stop him? She just really tried to like body block him. Like mind your business. I ain't snitching on a seagull stealing. Karen refuses to wear a mask at the airport. And of course they're gonna kick you off the plane if you don't wear one. Please throw me to the ground. Aww. The manager of the airport here. wants the manager of the airport. Yeah, okay, everybody call him over because this woman is not wearing a mask. Who saw him choke me to the ground? Who saw me? I saw you run through the door when you weren't supposed he to. And I saw him me push to you the out ground. the door. You deserve a mistake. In a dress! Boo hoo. Boo hoo. Boo hoo. You f off. That in public. You know, these things are easily avoidable if you just follow the rules. Yes, I'm gonna run on an airplane when they told me not to. So when they John Cena you to the ground, can't really cry about it. I want the manager of the airport here. I want to speak to the manager of the airport. What's he gonna do? He's just gonna kick you out. For my troubles, I demand a private jet to take me to my destination. Karen's drink was taking way too long. So she takes the bananas and just dunks them over the glass like Ha! Ruined your whole batch of bananas. And I'm out. I can't believe grown women act like this. Where does the entitlement come from? Like, if you're upset, just leave. Maybe grab a fistful of stevia packets on your way out. It's this policeman's lucky day because he pulled over a Karen. What's she gonna do to get out of this ticket? You're doing everything but drive this car. You've gone through emails, you've looked at pictures, everything but drive the car. Are you pulling me over because I'm walking? Yeah, sure. Um, I'll go ahead and pull you over then. I'll have you pull into that, the... Uh, I, I didn't mean I'll, that. I'll... Don't you hate when you're Snapchatting and driving and then a police pulls you over? And she's like, are you pulling me over? He's like, mm, let me think about it. Yeah, actually I am. I shouldn't have asked him that! Karen, punch in the air right now. I'm actually going to give you a copy of the law today. Great. It is primary offense. Just so you know, also, walking up to a woman's car, mm -hmm. you should have pulled me over. You're lucky I didn't have my pepper spray on me. Thank you. You would not. If you weren't going through emails, sure. you would probably be I'm more not, observant. I love how now 
how she want to bring that up after she gets the ticket. As a woman, you made me feel very unsafe. I could have pepper sprayed you. He's a cop. He probably pepper spray you back. I'm telling you, as a woman, I'm actually shaking right now because you scared the ever living well, I've made over 7,000 traffic sir, stops and I've never that, been pepper sprayed. But you, so. I understand that, mm -hmm. sir, but I'm telling you, as a woman, mm -hmm. you made me feel unsafe. Okay, I'm a public safety official, ma'am. I understand ma that, but I please listen to what mm -hmm. I am saying because mm -hmm. you're not listening because you're seeing this through the eyes of me trying to get out of a ticket, which mm -hmm. I'm not. Oh, you won't. <laughs> you all yeah don't even worry about that after you get pulled over you're gonna be shaking you're like Ooh, i got a ticket or for me it's like i'm shaking because i'm probably gonna go to jail i am letting you know as somebody who pays who is a person who pays your salary what not to say to a cop that pulls you over i literally pay for your salary this never works what do you want him to say oh my god thank you you're so right i would not have a job without you thank you for paying millions of dollars to my specific police station so that i can support my family you're free to go i'm, I'm no I'm longer going you, to listen to you i can't believe that you won't even listen no as somebody. soon as you said i pay your salary then we're done we're i'm done. trying to tell you we are so done. that you can do your job better i've done my job 20 been, years and I, i'm protecting the that. public from you reading your emails while you drive your car well that drive hasn't safely existed now. for 20 years <laughs> i just like that he walks away the second you say you only have a job because of me uh-uh nah we ain't doing this today throw back to one of the funniest karens of all time this guy starts recording her and she is aware internet this man and his doberman just attacked me and my chihuahua it's not a doberman what are, you, what are you doing? Oh, help! He just bit me! No, he, he didn't? Help! Police! I'm gonna call the police! Help! What are you... Okay? No! That's What's me! This just Doberman just <laughs> bit me! Yeah, modern day boy cried wolf. Karen cried Doberman! That ain't even a Doberman! If that dog could sue for slander, he would. She's just lying on the ground <laughs> now. I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna leave. Don't mind her, she just sunbathing in the piss covered grass at the dog park. Just let her be. You know, it's the only way to heal herself from that non-existent dog bite. So traumatizing, I'm gonna lay here till my grandkids pick me up. If you guys enjoy these videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. They're recording this Karen that was just complaining. I finally gets her food and then drops it. Who do you expect to clean that up? You know, there wasn't even a frustrated scream or anything. Just silent walk back to her car. We got a grown woman versus a kid skating. Oh, she's trying to block him, trying to block him. With those NFL jukes. <laughs> Kara, this is so embarrassing. Get your grocery bag and just walk home. No, I have so much time in my day that I'm gonna mess with a 12 year old skating. And also she really whip out her phone. You see the boomers, when they see you holding out your phone, they whip out their phone too. Like I have one too. Thinking it's intimidating or something. The person is recording a Karen acting stupid. What are you recording? A kid skating? Girl, that is some lame footage. Oh, oh, oh. You see those moves? She tried not to be a goalie. Spoiler, she didn't make the cut. Speaking of refunds, a Karen brought this back to Costco. A jar of cashews that have literal worms growing out of them. There are worms. It's infested. And Costco apparently takes back anything. Like, no matter what. Karen, you want a refund? Yes, ma'am. We don't even need the receipt. Oh, so you're not going to fight with me? Here you go. Man, I came in here for a fight. I can confirm my parents have taken advantage of this refund policy. Another Karen reenactment. Me, 17, working at my first job at Subway. Hello, ma'am, how are you? Hey, baby, how are you? Thank you for asking. Uh, let me just wash my hands real fast so then I can get to making your sandwich. Oh, don't bother, I just need a refund. A refund? Yeah, I mean, no big deal, faulty product. Happens sometimes. There comes a time in every fast food worker's life where Karen wants a refund. Okay, Um. well, well what was the problem? You want to return the sandwich? Yes, ma'am, and I, I have the receipt for it. Oh, she has the receipt. Oh, I, I can't help but notice this purchase was eight days ago. Correct. I bought it for my son after his baseball game last week. So what exactly is wrong with the sandwich? Well, just look at it. It's horribly soggy. Yeah, I mean, you let a sandwich sit in the bag for eight days. It has bread. It's going to be soggy and possibly moldy. Ma'am, you had eight days to eat it. But no, now it's back at the subway for a refund. It is. I, I just feel like it's pretty normal um, or expensive. Expected even for sandwiches to get soggy 
after eight days. I wasn't hungry after his game, so we just stuck it in the fridge. A couple days went past. I remembered yesterday that we still had it and I was gonna take it with me to lunch. I grabbed it thinking it was gonna be the same standard that you claim to uphold for your products and this is what I was greeted with. Honey, would you eat that? No. Exactly. Because it's eight days old. Will you just give me my refund? I, I don't think I could do a refund for that. Can you do that? Do people like not get embarrassed? This sandwich is eight days old. There is mold and crusties growing out of it. Your product is the Effective. Refund me immediately. What? Some people got no shame. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below. Let me know which one of these was the worst one. And if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. Oh! I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.